Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with another knife review. Alright, so this very small slip joint is the San Ren Mew 4112. It's got an aluminum handle, it comes in different colors, it's got grooves on the handle for grip, nail nick as your opener. Now the steel on this is 8CR13MOV. Right, it's a very thin blade. The blade shape I would describe as a a cross between a micro fillet knife and a scalpel. The blade length is only two inches. All right, so because this is a slip joint and it's under three inches, this will get you under the restrictions that many countries and cities have. It's got that lanyard hole so you can put it on a key ring. I love little knives like this. Um, they're very, it's very, very useful to have a small, super sharp cutting tool. I uh, use them for everything from opening a package to a little bit of a basically removing a splinter, just cutting a splinter out. The sharper the knife, the less painful that will be, I assure you. Now this knife is a smaller version of an already small knife. The knife on top is a San Ren Mew 7112. Blade length on that is about two and three quarters inches. As I said, the smaller version is the 4112 with a 2 inch blade. I will include a link to the product listing of that larger one as well as my previous uh, vid video review of that knife. This knife came very sharp. Look at those little bitty Julienne french fry cuts. I would rate the initial sharpness of this as an A. Right, so, you know, it's very important with small knives like this that they are really sharp because there's a lot less edge length to draw through whatever you're cutting. So when it comes to small keychain knives, they better be quite sharp or just or just don't bother. The blade is also really thin. Again, kind of like a fillet knife. It'll just go through anything. Now small knives like this, you know, the first one that I really liked was my Spyderco Ladybug. I mean, talk about a little mini surgery tool, okay, but that's uh, quite a bit more expensive than this. This can actually hold its own in terms of sharpness, right, with my Spyderco Ladybug, and that's saying something. One great thing about knives like this, the blade on this is a better cutting tool than the blade you'll get on like a mini multi-tool. So for example, I like to carry a Leatherman squirt on my keychain. But I also like to carry this with it because uh, the blade on this is just a better blade than the little mini blade on the Leatherman Squirt. Sometimes I carry a Leatherman Style PS, which is bladeless, and that's a perfect complement to this knife because this is a great little cutter and then you got the, uh, the little scissors and mini pliers on the style. So yeah, that's a lot of capability for stuff that fits on a keychain. And this thing weighs virtually nothing, you know, it's tiny, you're not going to feel it, it's not going to weigh you down. Now if you want one of these, I got, I bought this at GearBest.com, I'll include a link if you want to pick one up. It comes in four different colors, so if one color is sold out, you might want to go with another. And if they're all sold out, I, I don't know how they work that, like if they put them on back order, sometimes they have a ship date, like when it's going to restock. You know, I, I don't control any of that, so you'll just have to navigate that yourself, but I will include the links that you can just browse at your leisure. Now, the shipping to the USA takes like four weeks, okay? So like I always say, I would recommend finding at least three or four knives that you like and doing a group order because that way if there's something wrong with one, you know, it's not a total loss. And I'll be straight with you, I've said this before, in my experience with really inexpensive knives like this, about a one out of five is a lemon. That, that's just been my experience. I'll be, I'll be honest with you, you know. Um, but they are still worth it because the price is so low that, that that's already built into the price, at least. You know, that's my opinion. So those links will be in the text description box. Hope you enjoyed seeing this knife. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.